Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32L5 Embedded Operational Amplifier. It covers the features of this IP, which is widely used for conditioning analog signals. Two operational amplifiers inside products functions as a general-purpose analog amplifier, which may reduce the need for an external standalone op-amp. As these op-amps can be configured in standalone mode with all terminals available for the user, it is possible to use them as a voltage follower, non-inverting and inverting amplifiers, as well as analog filters such as low or high-pass filters. They can also act as a pre-amplifier for the ADC input. The operational amplifier inside STM32L5 products offers general-purpose rail-to-rail inputs and outputs. The input offset voltage can be calibrated in the application to achieve minimal offset. All the terminals are accessible by the user so that any operational amplifier function can be configured with external passive components. The op-amps have two power modes, normal and low power mode. The op-amps also provide on-chip functions, including voltage follower mode, while their on-die feedback resistance can be used for the programmable gain amplifier function. This slide shows the block diagram of the operational amplifiers. The STM32L5 integrates two operational amplifiers. Several switches are used to configure different functions. Each op-amp can be configured individually. The operational amplifiers support this default configuration using the factory-trimmed offset values and operate in normal. The operational amplifiers can be configured as an internal voltage follower where the internal switch connects the output to the inverting input. In internal voltage follower mode, the GPIO pad assigned to the op-amp's inverting input can be free so that it may be used with a different function as subsequently assigned in the GPIO selection process. The op-amps support non-inverting amplifier mode with four fixed gains available. The feedback resistors can be selected to have gain of 2, 4, 8, or 16 to support the programmable gain amplifier function. It may also be beneficial to use the op-amp as an ADC input so that the full dynamic range of the analog-to-digital converter can be applied to signals having a small amplitude. The op-amps also support external connections on outputs and the non-inverting input to create the PGA mode. It enables the connection of an external capacitor to add low-pass filter characteristics to the PGA configuration. This STM32G4's op-amps support inverting amplifier mode with six fixed gains available. The feedback resistors can be selected to have gain of minus 1, minus 3, minus 7, minus 15, minus 31, or minus 63 to support the programmable gain amplifier function. By using this configuration, it is possible to shift the bias voltage of the input signal with the AC coupling capacitor. It can also be used as a non-inverting amplifier with a gain of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 with bias to a none ground voltage. The op-amps also support external connections on outputs and on the inverting input also for this PGA mode. It enables the connection of an external capacitor to add low-pass filter characteristics to the PGA configuration. The following table shows performance parameters for the STM32L5's op-amp. The op-amp can work from 1.8 to 3.6 volts from the VDDA supply with rail-to-rail -rail input and output. The offset voltage can be calibrated down to 1.5 millivolt. It has a gain bandwidth of 1.6 megahertz. The STM32L5's op-amps are suitable for the pre-amplification of the ADC input because the integrated PGA can enhance the dynamic range of the analog-to-digital converter. Its high slew rate can drive the sample capacitor of ADC very effectively. It is handy to use as an on-chip voltage follower instead of using an off-chip standalone op-amp.
This is a list of peripherals related to the operational amplifiers. Please refer to these peripheral trainings for more information if needed.